perfect. My engine's overheating. And I got white smoke coming out the tailpipe. That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. If you need head gaskets or other parts for your vehicle, make sure you click the link in the description. Head over to 1AAuto.com. Let's talk about some head gaskets. Just a brief description of what a head gasket is. You have your engine block that houses the pistons on the bottom, and you have your cylinder head on top that has the valves that open and close, and you have your cylinder head gasket in between, and that's gonna keep coolant and oil out of the piston or the combustion chamber, and exhaust gases out of the coolant. Let's talk about the symptoms. The first thing you're probably gonna notice is the engine overheating. You may notice some white smoke coming out of the tailpipe and it smells sweet, almost like maple syrup. You may notice some coolant leaking or some engine oil leaking externally, or you may notice your coolant level is low, but there's no external leaks at all. And if your head gasket's bad enough, you may even notice an engine misfire. Taking a look at the head gasket a little more detail, the circles are where the combustion chamber is. And all along the sides here where these ports are, that is where there's gonna be coolant going around. And the only thing preventing the coolant from entering the combustion chamber is this gasket right here. So all around there, that's all coolant. And then for this vehicle in particular, engine oil would be up here. And there's not gonna be any pressure in the oiling system to get to the top of the head. But in different vehicles, different applications, you may have a little area where pressurized oil would go through and in that case that could pressurized oil could get into the coolant or even into the combustion chamber. If the head gasket fails right here that's where you're going to get coolant into the combustion chamber and then when the vehicle's running it's going to be putting exhaust gases into the coolant system and if it breaks right here that's when you're going to have a misfire between two cylinders because the compression ratios are not going to be accurate. So let's break this down, make it nice and simple for you if you think you have a blown head gasket. First thing you want to do is open the hood and check the coolant level. Now don't open the coolant cap unless the vehicle is cold. If you find that the coolant level is low, top it off with the appropriate coolant. And then check for any coolant leaks. You want to make sure you don't have like a water pump leaking or a coolant hose or even a radiator leaking. Another thing you can try is actually marking the coolant reservoir bottle. You want to do this when the engine's cold. Just make a line where the coolant is. Then you could drive the car for a day or two as long as the engine's not overheating and double check the line. If the line's way down below, then you're obviously losing coolant. One of the things we can do to test if we have a blown head gasket is take the radiator cap off or the reservoir and run the engine while the engine's running. If you see any bubbles coming out, not just a little bit of burping bubbles, but major bubbles um, coming out, most likely that's exhaust gases coming out through the reservoir or the radiator. The other thing you can do is use a block tester there's a special tester you can use specifically just to confirm it 110%. Another thing we can take a look at is the spark plugs. If you have wires, disconnect the wires. If you have a coil, you want to take the coil off. Using a spark plug socket, you can actually remove the spark plug, pull it out, and you can actually look at the spark plug. And if there seems to be like a white film on it or almost a powder, like white powder, that's burning coolant, it should have almost a little bit of carbon buildup around it. Not, not too much carbon buildup or it could be oil burning, but yeah, if you see white spark plug, that's coolant. Then we can take a boroscope and actually go into the spark plug hole and we can actually see inside the cylinder. And if the cylinder looks like there's carbon built up on the piston, then that's normal. But if you see the piston, if you compare it to the other ones and you see one piston that's extremely shiny or like it looks almost brand new, that's because you got coolant in there because it's burning off the carbon. Piston actually looks pretty clean. Watch a clean piston's not good. The next step, use a pressure tester and pressurize the coolant system. With the coolant pressure tester hooked up, if you have all the spark plugs out and you notice any of the cylinders filling up with coolant, that's an indication that you need a head gasket. 
So there's some quick and easy tips on how to check to see if you have a bad head gasket, and some of them don't even require any special tools. So if you're going to need any other gaskets for your vehicle, make sure you get those at 1AAuto.com. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Oh, great. My engine's overheating. <laughs> this thing went flying. Hold on. Another thing we can look at is the spark plugs. You want to take the spark plug boots off. With the pressure tester, <coughs> with the pressure test, ugh.